King D, Zoro will be the one billion to the one B, the one B to Luffy by the time the series is done. Don't compare him to Lanji, bumass Luffy. Zoro will have the greatest fights in Shonen. Um, the greatest fights in Shonen. The only fight, well, nah. To be fair, Zoro fight with um uh, with King of Fire was epic as in the end section of that fight for sure. And Sanji had a great fight with Queen. It was amazing. Uh, through and through, especially, especially if you include uh, Sanji versus King and Queen. Ooh, that was excellent. Anime stopped there for sure. So I think they already have like some of the best fights in Shonen as it is in the anime at least. I mean, I understand the desire to keep Sanji stifled, mitigated, because Sanji's greatness is going to be like impeding on Zoro's greatness. And I know there's always that, you know, there's always that fucking, that that drive, that drive to have Zoro with Luffy. But once I realized that. A lot, no offense to you guys, and you know, I'm a Zoro fan too, but once I realized that a lot of the diehard Zoro fanboys on Twitter, on Instagram, on YouTube, and so on, the core purpose of what you do is to try and put Zoro as close to Luffy as possible. You're trying to bring back the good old days of Whiskey Peak. That, that's what you're trying to do. Luffy is crip walking on Zoro, EOS. Zoro could be Mihawk. But by then, Luffy's he's 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 mid diffing Mihawk. He's he's nagging Mihawk. Honestly, by then, by then, Luffy's gonna be so radical. It's gonna be out of this world. Like literally, it's gonna be stupid. The things Luffy could do, if Luffy ever leaves a manga panel, I don't hear shit about Zoro and Mihawk. And no, I don't hear. Shit. I just I, I, I just want to hear it. Even if we don't have that, if Luffy if he takes a part of the red line, turns that rubber and just eats it i don't want to hear it i don't i, I don't want to hear it i don't want to hear it anymore bro luffy is set to be the strongest person if not one of the top three strongest dudes on planet earth in history and even compared to the even compared to joy boy even compared to joy boy himself in the past during the Heian era luffy will be stronger than that Luffy is going to win where every person of the D clan has lost. Luffy will win. He will win. He will win. And in order to reach that goal of being the best in some sense, the caliber of fighter he has to deal with is going to be stronger than the guys of the past eras. So that's why I would say guys like Blackbeard and Shanks and uh, Emu they're going to be stronger than guys like potentially Roger and Whitebeard and so in their primes. Yeah. Because Luffy will, this kid right here, this goober, this goofball right here is going to claim the title of top. It's happening. Dragon is getting crushed by Luffy EOS. Do y'all does not understand who the hell Monkey D. Luffy is? Monkey D. Luffy is pressed to be michael jordan in the nba and he's be number one by a landslide not even close no one kobe kareem uh bill braun uh shack uh bird magic no one no one is gonna come even close to luffy out of let's say a select four one of them is not zoro it's not zoro bro it's not zoro it's not it's not Luffy's gonna be 5.6, like 9 billion berry bounty. And he's gonna be just ferocious. It's gonna be nasty. It's gonna be disgusting. But you undeniably, undeniably have to see this reality. That Zoro, now we know where Mihawk stands. For Mihawk, he could be an emperor of today, but even compared to Yonko, like Kaido, Big Mom. Considering how Oda is using bounty more and more as like a power scale, like the top, top, top tier guys, he falls short. Luffy's gonna be up there with Goldie Roger in his prime, if not st stronger. Rock these to Beck, weaker than Luffy EOS. Emu, probably the same thing. Blackbeard, probably the same thing. Um, mm. Blackbeard's a bit scuffy. He's a bit scuffy, all right? Because he has two powers, so who knows? Shanks, the same thing. Uh, Joy Boy, same thing. The only, the only person probably 
that would be stronger than Luffy, because EOS would probably be the Sun God Nika, if the Sun God Nika is actually a real deity. The Sun God Nika might be an actual real deity that did some crazy stuff back in the day, 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 day. Okay, fine. Fair enough. I will acquiesce to that. Well, yeah, fine. That person, that Luffy, that entity, fair enough. But again, like, I, Zoro is, Zoro is the truth. Like, Zoro is lit. I like Zoro. Zoro is fantastic. But in terms of the power scale, you guys have to let Whiskey Pete go. Let it fade into the wind. Let it just, 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 you know, you know what the Vikings do? When the Vikings have someone that passed away, they take the arrow with the fire, they go freaking ding, and then it lands on the ship and then just burns away into the ocean. Do that. Do that with the mindset. Take the arrow, go ding, and then burn the agenda that Luffy equals Zoro. No, Zoro is so far from Luffy's level now and Luffy has barely scratched the surface of the Nika ability. I don't want to hear it, bro. I just do not want to hear it, man. Luffy is going to, by, by end of story, he is crip walking on a whole bunch of dudes. That includes Mihawk, that includes EOS Zoro, that probably includes uh, every Admiral. Every Admiral is getting stunted on by Luffy. Oh, it's gonna be nasty work. A uh, kind who's getting uh, folded, uh, getting folded, bro. Like actually accordion. He will turn a Kainu into an accordion and start, you know, doing some some Scottish. Shit. There we go, and start having a good old time. Especially, especially if he starts doing things like I'm gonna leave the manga panel. I'm like, ah, if he actually has Toon Force, Toon Force like heavy, not light heavy. Oh, if he starts ignoring damage like Courage Kali Dog. If he starts uh, teleporting from place to place like he's an actual cartoon character, like a like a Wally e. Coyote or something, I I don't want to hear it, bro. I just want to hear it. I, no. If there's a painting and he runs into the painting, like he's freaking Roadrunner. Oh, oh damn. <laughs> oh my goodness. Kings Zoro does not equal Luffy, but Zoro does not equal Sanji. Zoro uh, isn't a uh, comp like to, to Lanji, uh, but according to Oda, he is. I don't know what to tell you. There are things that Zoro has over Sanji, like Zoro has superior range. Zoro has superior hockey overall. Zoro has superior, uh, let's say, DC. What, like, what he can destroy, uh, more attack power, that kind of thing. Zoro has things that are better than Sanji for sure. But Sanji is faster. Sanji is smarter. Sanji is more durable. Uh, Sanji has better abilities. Things of that sort. Like, dude. People, were, I remember, were shitting on Sanji when Sanji got bit in horse form, or when Sanji, uh, uh, uh what do you say? When Sanji got bit down by Nusjiro, and when he was in full horse form, and it said, oh, well, you know, ha, lol, Sanji's right here, fine. Sanji has regen factor. He, he's just chilling. Where, where's Zoro's regen factor? Zoro, crunch, crack, ugh. Zoro's like, oh. Rips. Ugh. Sanji, let me just real quick. Okay, cool. It's very obvious what Oda's doing here. Oda is giving Sanji abilities that are more akin to a different user, and Z and Zoro's getting stuff that's more akin to a prime hockey user. Th that's what it is. It's so, it's so simple. It's so simple. Nushio can even react to Sanji while carrying Vega Punk. He just been boom, boom, like, boom, right right angle, boom. But Zoro has the attack power. Zoro has that naughty attack power. So I was able to actually send Nushio flying after a Congress Hockey uh, clash. I, I, again, I'm assuming Congress Hockey, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming a Congress Hockey clash. Like what I've been saying for years now just seems more and more and more and more and more apparent. And I'm, I'm, I'm right now, I'm hella comfortable with it. I'm super comfortable with it. After Wild Country, after Rob she said, I'm like, yo bro, oh, finally. Like I, I just, you know, I was chilling bro. Ever since I've been chilling. To me, it's like obviously clear that what I've been saying for years is 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 the case. So power scalers and shambles. I think. Listen, I who? Not me. Because what I've been saying for years now, when it comes to uh, Sanji, when it comes to Zoro, when it comes to uh, Luffy, L Luffy, when it comes to uh, Shanks. Oh God. When it comes to Kaido and Big Mom and the Emperors, I've been saying that for a long time. Hasn't proven correct. Uh, even recently with Garp, I gave Garp. Um, uh, what is, I think I gave Garp in two two years ago. I put Garp, I think it was right at that Admiral level spot. 
And then we find out that Garp has a same bounty as every Admiral. Boom. So I've been like pretty confident. Honestly, I, I, I'm not gonna lie to you. I've been pretty confident with with, with, uh, with my power scale. Really confident. Um, at least for, for the things that matter to me. Um, even when it came to the Shank stuff, like when they revealed that Mihawk was an even greater swordsman than Shanks, that's what I said in 2020 in response to a Bravo video. I said like, yeah, he's gonna have greater sword skill than Shanks. Guaranteed, uh, guaranteed, guaranteed. And then lo and behold, like four years later, boom. That's what I said. You can see Oda doing these hints where he was clearly separating the swordsmanship from the hockey, which made the most sense. Like for example, Zoro says that King the Wildfire is not a swordsman, quote unquote swordsman, even though King the Wildfire can use hockey on his sword. But Zoro himself says that he's not a swordsman. How does that make sense? It makes sense because swordsman skill, yeah, that's a foundational skill, ability pool that you have to train for and then use hockey on top of that. So even still, like Oda had these hints that I thought were very, very clear. So I, I've been comfortable, bro. I've been comfortable. Because all I've really done, all I've really done in terms of power scale, that's made it pretty accurate, I think, so far at least, is maintain what Garb said a long time ago. He said that we, the Marines, have teamed up with these pirates, the warlords, to equal the emperors. The Marines, the world government, warlords, so Mihawk, all those cats, I guess now the Seraphim, these powers had to equal the fucking emperors because that's how gnarly the emperors are. And then we saw what happened in Marine Ford. Old, sick, dying Whitebeard, clearly the strongest there. Clearly the strongest dude there. I mean, it was, it was, it was, it was phenomenal. So yeah, either way, I understand. Yeah, I, I get it. People really want Sanji to be super far away from Zoro because the idea is that at least Zoro's closer to Luffy in some sense and signs a bitch. The reality though, is that based on the feats, based on the themes, that's not the case. See you, bye bye.